All right, how are you guys doing? Coach Kyle Brown here, celebrity fitness nutrition coach, CEO of Fit365.com, and creator and founder of the Fit365 Shakes. Wanted to talk to you today about some of the secrets and the truths behind native grass-fed whey protein. So, I gotta say, you know, I think a lot of these fad diets and things that are going on with protein right now is really making my head spin. Everything from goat protein to hemp protein to cricket protein to pea protein to soy protein. There are so many different people jumping on that bandwagon and creating these proteins. I'm just waiting for them to come out with a little bit of uh, woolly mammoth protein. So I feel like it'll be something like, you know, that they've been spending a thousand years on these islands in the South Pacific cultivating these embryos of woolly mammoths so that they can create a protein and milk these woolly mammoths and really bring the benefits to you. Uh, it, it's getting a little nonsensical. And a lot of people think that, okay, well, this protein powder drinking stuff is new. Uh, let, let me be clear. This wasn't created in the 90s back when we had to shove uh, our hand out our nose and chug down a disgusting protein shake, which I uh, beg to say that most of the proteins out there actually still are at that level. And really, most of these proteins, basically what's going on is the best way to understand it is to really understand history. So whey protein was not brought to market in the 1990s, like many people think. Actually, let's back it up a bit, a long bit. 400 BC, Hippocrates, who's the father of modern medicine, he used to recommend whey protein to his clients. Now this is the guy who is, let thy food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. He understood that whey protein was food and he used it as his medicine. He mixed it into his serums, his tinctures as the ideal choice to help people enhance their immune system and increase their lean muscle mass and strength. Pretty phenomenal. So I guess that would make him the first of all the protein manufacturers out there. Now in the 90s, it made its triumphant comeback because scientists were taking the native raw whey protein. So you milk the cow, you've got the milk, and then you've got the skim little layer of whey, and that used to be thrown out. And then they would take the milk and, and turn it into curds and whey through cheese manufacture, and they'd throw all that out as a byproduct. But scientists started testing the raw whey for its health benefits back in the 90s and realized that it truly is the gold standard. And that stuff right there is not trash, but pure gold, liquid gold. Then they spray dried it and turned it into protein shakes. So the biological value of protein, the BV, the usability of protein by the human body, it used to be a standard score where egg was at the top. It used to be 100% egg protein. Well, egg moved down to 93 because when they started testing whey, they realized it's the most absorbable, usable protein by the body. As in, you're taking in 21 grams of grass-fed whey or whey protein, you're gonna absorb it all. Pretty phenomenal. You compare that to soy, beans, rice, uh, egg is a 93.7, milk's an 84.5, soy's a 72.8, minus all of its negative health benefits. And that plant-based protein, that rice protein, is a 64. Think about that for a minute. A 64 in school, what is that? Is that a grade you're gonna to wanna to bring home to mom and dad? No, that's a D. A little better than a D minus, but a D, which means 64% is absorbed and utilized. That's it. Now, a couple of facts about whey protein. One, it's been shown to accelerate body fat loss. It enhances the immune system. It increases your lean muscle mass. It's gonna keep you from losing muscle while, or losing muscle while you're dropping body fat. That's an anti-catabolic factor. That's really unique with whey. And it's gonna increase your uh, satiety, which is your feeling of fullness. Now, when it comes down to whey protein, I've been manufacturing grass-fed whey protein shakes since way back in 2003. We started formulation in 2005, we launched it. There is a giant difference between commercial whey protein that you see on the market and grass-fed whey. And even there, there's a huge difference between sources of grass-fed whey protein. I'll get into that in a second. So commercial whey protein is whey protein from cows that are fed grains and soy. You'll even see 
a lot of these organic whey proteins out there. Organic does not mean that it's year-round grass-fed. It means that most of the year it's probably eating organic grains and organic soy. That is not what a cow is meant to eat. So you can call it a year-round organic, but that's why they're able to keep those prices down. They're giving you a really low quality protein source. So what are some of the differences that science has shown between a grass fed whey and a commercial whey? One is you're getting better fat loss and weight loss results. They find that grass fed whey has a three to five times increase in CLA, conjugated linoleic acid, which is shown to you know, speed up your metabolism, increase your lean muscle mass, and really help transform you into a fat burning machine. Two, there are 25% more BCAAs, branched chain amino acids in grass fed whey than commercial whey. BCAAs you'll see is a really expensive supplement if you're getting a good quality one, but you're naturally gonna get a better quality, higher quantity of BCAAs in that grass fed versus that commercial. Uh, awesome again for anti-catabolic, for keeping that muscle while you're dropping fat. Three, boost your immune system. Grass fed whey, um, there's a big difference also between types of grass fed that I'll get into a sec, but grass fed whey protein, it is going to preserve the natural antioxidants, your immunoglobulins, your lactoferrin, your serum album. You'll find Fit365 is one of the only products you'll find on the market that actually can put those precursors to glutathione, those antioxidant numbers on the back of our shake. You find a couple medical ones, but we're one of the only ones out there, and you'll see that those numbers are phenomenal, especially because we also have that uh, grass-fed colostrum in the shake. So there's a big difference uh, also with those between the concentrates and the isolates. Now, the last thing is that there's no antibiotics, there's no hormones, there's no grains, and there's no soy. And that's found in most of those commercial ways, which is why the price is so cheap. Again, any food that you get supersized, including those giant supersized tubs of five pounds of protein, I don't want to put anything supersized in my body because it's not super quality. Now, what is the highest quality of the grass-fed proteins? Now, you'll see a lot of mainstream people out there saying, well, grass-fed whey protein isolate is better than grass-fed whey protein concentrate not even remotely close. Nothing isolated from its natural component in nature with all the other cofactors in it in any type of food in nature is as good as in its natural source. Well, except if you're taking the uh, uh, caffeine out of a particular product that's not too good for you. But in its natural source, you really want to eat foods in their natural source. Grass-fed whey protein concentrate versus grass-fed whey protein isolate, I'll give you a little example here. Also, not all concentrates are the same. What we use in Fit365 is you take a grass-fed cow that is year-round grass-fed. Now, how can it be year-round grass-fed? Well, we go to South Australia where the weather is the same as here in San Diego, and so the cow has grass year-round. What do you have in a Wisconsin cow? Snow most of the year. So they're not out there on pastures, so they're not pasture-raised year-round. So watch some of those other grass-fed ways out there that are not pasture-raised. They're corn and soy most of the year, but they still can throw grass-fed on the label. So you have these great conditions. They're eating grass year-round. You take the cow, you milk the cow, you get this thin little layer of uh, whey that is not a byproduct of the cheese manufacture process. That's the gold right there, and that's all that we utilize in Fit365. Most whey proteins, whey protein isolate, for example, is this. You take the cow, you milk it after it's been eating grass, and you have the uh, milk, and you put it through a high heat pasteurization. So they take that milk, they put it through high heat pasteurization, which creates curds and whey, just like what little Miss Muffet was eating when she sat on her tuffet. So she had her curds and her whey. The curds are things like cheese, cottage cheese, and the whey is that... Uh, remaining whey protein. They then put it through all these filtration processes. They denature it. They change its natural uh, delivery mechanism. So now you have this highly processed former version of, of whey all taken out of milk and from there you have your concentrate and your isolate. Now that isolate has been put through a process like uh, hydrolyzed or uh, there, there's multiple other different processes. 
And that process right there is taking it out of its natural state with all the natural cofactors that Mother Nature intended when you're supposed to be utilizing these ingredients. Now, they're artificially creating a higher protein percentage. Big deal. I'll take it the way Mother Nature serves it versus the way some chemical lab sits there and tries to put it all together and, and uh, present it. Now, they may keep it natural, that's great, but at the end of the day, it's heavily processed. And there's one thing that is true with every good dietary system out there, from veganism to paleo. The more you process a food, the worse it is for your body. The unprocessed principle is the way you want to go, as close to its natural state with any food. So going with a high-quality grass-fed whey protein is really the way to go. I hope this helps. This is just the tip of the iceberg. If you really want to get into the science, research, and the history of grass-fed whey to understand all of its immune benefits and how it's been used uh, back in the high-end spas uh, out in the Swiss in the 1600s and all of its health benefits, I've got a phenomenal blog article that's coming out in the next little bit. Make sure you check it out. It's incredibly extensive to really show you the history, the research, and the facts not the laughable facts that are being put out there by the plant-based protein industry right now, which again, I deal with a lot of vegans, and when I'm working with the vegan who makes the choice to go with the plant-based protein because that's what they need because the deficiency is totally great, but to say it is the superior protein source is laughable. Time shows all, and the history of the food shows all. I hope this helps.